How's it going everybody? Hey, Pillow Gaming here. Hope you guys are having a lovely week. I know I am. Um, so today I'm actually talking about Team Fortress 2. I haven't uploaded anything on my on this channel uh, to do with Team Fortress 2 because I stopped playing it a couple of years ago. Um, and I stopped playing it because of the Meet Your Match update. And uh, it, was, it's not, it wasn't the greatest update. I was let down by it. Uh, a lot of my crutches that I used as a spy at the time were nerfed and um, the next time I came onto it was the Jungle Inferno update which then saw more nerfs to the class that I liked playing which was spy um, so yeah and uh, now I'm starting to get back into the game and I'm enjoying the game again because before I wasn't enjoying the game I came back to it thinking I was ready and I wasn't I put over a thousand hours into this game and uh, it's I've been happy throughout most of those times, but I've come back to this game now four years later, roughly, I don't know, three, four years later, and uh, what the fuck has happened? I spawn in and there's bots everywhere. This game is in ruins from what it used to be. Now I know that the um, Valve staff is limited because they get to work freely on whatever they want to work on and I imagine that they're not working on TF2 a lot of them but this bot crisis it's been going on for a while because after I realised that there's quite a few bots in the game I thought oh maybe it's a bot invasion that's just re recently started I'll check out some Uncle Dane videos or Mr Paladin videos or something like that and this has been going on for years and it's a bit stupid, you know? Like, there's a lot of things that make TF2 great. And cheaters are not one of them. Now, don't get me wrong, there are, there are better bots than others, okay? No, don't get me wrong, all bots are bad. But I have seen a few medic bots. And a few, um, oh, spy, I think there were spy crab bots or something like that. I don't know, I haven't seen any. Um, I haven't seen any of the rude named ones either yet. But there are out there. I know they are. Um, the ones I keep running into are a couple that are on the UK ser- or, I think they're UK servers? I don't know, they're European servers of some description. Um, and to be honest, they just ruin the game. And Valve really need to step up and sort this out. Otherwise, I can't see much future for TF2. Don't get me wrong. Players are getting on top of it and they're kicking them, but the kick system doesn't always work. I joined a game earlier today and it really wound me up because I joined it and I was the only real person on my team. The other team, the, the I joined Red and... Uh, I was the only human on that team. Every time I did a vote kick, before it even registered my vote, it had registered five against me. Okay, these bots work together. They vote they vote no. That's why it's so hard to kick them. Because the voting system's slightly broken, to be honest. And well, to be fair, as I said, if I was I was in a team with only bots on, uh, other than me, there wasn't anything I could actually do about it. And there is nothing I could do about it. So I went and found a new game. It was full of people and it was a great time. But it's just something to think about, you know? That these bots are ruining the game. And uh, Valve really need to do something about them. Now, whether or not it's update the anti-cheat, change the anti-cheat entirely um, maybe a two um, step authentication system so you have to link your phone I know they could do that um, that would probably be one of the best ways is you have to have two step authentication to play um, oh, uh, TF2 uh, in Prime should we call it you have Prime and non-Prime kind of like CSGO where the only re difference between them though is that um, Prime, you have to use, you have to have a phone number attached to your 
Steam or a phone number attached to your thing that you can verify your account on. Um, because it's getting beyond the joke to me. And if there are these amount of bots, because the other thing is, is you can't actually kick them either. They leave before you can kick them. They know the results of the vote and they leave before the kick goes through. Which kind of tells you that TF2 is definitely in a big problem at the moment and they and it really needs to be sorted. Because there's no way I'm just being followed around by the same 20 odd bots, am I? This is a massive problem that TF2 needs to sort out. And, uh, well, Valve needs to sort it out. The Team Fortress devs, I respect them, they're brilliant people. Um, uh, to actually want to represent a game that's this old, part of the community is so, the community is so good in TF2 as well. And that's the other thing is I've seen a lot of TF2, um, content creators say, well, what we need to do is boycott Valve. And that's not going to help the problem. I'm, I might be the only one standing against them on that, but... I will stand against them, but because, well, Valve, Valve aren't gonna, they don't love TF2 as much as they used to, yeah, that's pretty obvious by the updates that have come out, etc, etc, okay, or lack of updates, okay, yeah, again, two people working on it, totally fine, so, I can understand updates slowing down as the game has moved on, and it's life cycle, they're running out of ideas, the community is there, and they're giving them ideas, and then people are unhappy about how much the community are putting in, but if the devs can't, if the devs are there to just keep the game running, they can use the community to update the game, right? Like they could themselves, yeah, work on a way to get around this anti-cheat, uh, to get around this, whether it's make it a two fa two step authentication system, uh, make it so it's kind of like a prime system like what they've got in CSGO But even then because I've seen a lot of the bots being able to use voice chat and I'm pretty sure Or I'm, I might be completely off on this because I'm not a free-to-play player at all or anything so I don't know um, I'm pretty sure free-to-plays aren't allowed to or are they now allowed to use voice chat? And I haven't actually done research into that to be honest when I'm making this um There'll probably be a thing underneath to say if they can or not. Um, but as far as I'm aware, they can't. Um, but I see them using voice chat, and they're just playing songs and stuff like that. And it makes you think, why on earth is this happening? Why does, why do the bots get away with this? How come Valve can't crack them down? Personally, if I was in Valve's shoes right now, I would load into a game, Get the IP of whoever is hosting these bots and ban the IP. Just straight ban the IPs on them. They only have to be in a server for about 5 minutes if that. I've joined 16 servers over this weekend. Okay. All casual servers. They're not. I haven't gone into actually server browsing and stuff. Um, and every single one had a cheater in it. And on the UK servers I've counted about five different sets one that steals your name uh, there's two of them that keep their same name one one's a heavy one one's a um, sniper one uh, there's a medic one and there's the other sniper one there's a couple of there's there's three sniper ones all together one that cha takes your name and then two that uh, got um, our logos on some description and then there's a heavy one and the medic one Realistically, I'd IP ban all of them. The medic one I said is not actually a, as bad a bot as the rest of them, but they're still they're still there for a purpose. Okay, all the bots are there. Realistically, they are making uh, item items drop to them, so they're all getting items. They could be getting hats and stuff like that, and then they could be all being traded to a main source, which is then obviously putting them on the Steam market and selling them. They're making money off of running a code essentially that they didn't even design now I've seen the code it's a Linux code and 
that also might be somewhere that Valve can try and stamp down on is the Linux side of TF2 because I know the anti-cheat doesn't work as well over there. Um, hopefully they can figure this out because otherwise TF2 is in a bleak state and I really really want them to like, I'd like a heavy update yeah but I'd like the game to be better first you know everyone's like oh we want an update but at the same time I'd rather the bots were gone you know there's no point changing the colour of a plaster if you're not going to solve the broken arm you know um, uh, a great example of, the, uh, of this is Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Siege, when it first launched, was an absolutely dreadful state. It had um, bugs in it and everything, constantly. Uh, shields being put on people and stuff like that, and that's still a glitch that occasionally happens today. But, well not today, they've patched it again for now. But it keeps popping its ugly head up occasionally. Um, but, when that glitch when all of those glitches were in the game and they were present in the game uh, they took an operation because they obviously do things in operations they took one operation called operation health to fix all of them and they did they got it all under control and they sorted it all out i would rather miss smithmas or um oh the spooky halloween event or something like that something that the they could realistically launch them if they just use the community items to put them in game but I would rather them fix the game and fix their anti-cheat and stuff like that than actually do an update for the game they can update it later updates can be done later but there's no point updating a game if there's no one playing it anymore right and that's something that because you've got TF2 content creators left and right saying Let's boycott the game. Let's boycott Valve. And I sit there and I think, no, don't do that. We've got to get as many people playing this game as possible. Make Valve understand that TF2 is not going anywhere. Okay? These bots aren't made by Valve. They're not made by T Team Fortress. They're not anything like that, right? But Valve has to have a reason to want to have people working on TF2. So if there are no players on it, they just shut the servers down. And yeah, that will solve the bot crisis, but it won't solve anything else. The game will die because there won't be people playing it. People come back to having to play on um, Face It servers. And in fact, I think there's a new one that's come out, casual.tf or something like that. I think I've seen a little bit of it kicking around. Um, that actually launched on Sunday, I think, actually. Thank you about it. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's come out. These two, um, they're just the two off the top of my head. There might be more. But those two are willing to take on. Yes, they have the community side, which is great. But it's like hosting a community server. They're great, but the new players won't be going there immediately. Unless they've come from things like YouTube and stuff like that to find them. And don't get me wrong, it's a great idea to have them hosted like that. Realistically, if T... If Valve wanted to, they could probably pay Face It to host all of their normal servers, and everyone would have to download the Face It anti cheat. That would probably be a really great solution to this problem. Just offer their servers to Face It and just have it so Face It's run through TF2 or something like that, and you have to have the Face It anti cheat to play the game. And that that'd be fine for me, to be honest. It would obviously affects OBS a little bit, but. I think um, they can whitelist certain uh, things like OBS and stuff, but that's when cheats can somehow slip through because they can be whitelisted without being whitelisted by pretending they're something they're not. Um, but yeah, um, so that's my 10 cents on it, I guess, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this opinionated little vlog slash thing. Uh, in the background, you have got me playing um, a game which we had mostly people in. You do see the occasional bot, the kick symbol does come up most quite a few times because, well, that's what the state of TF2 looks like currently. It's just people being kicked continuously. And it's not a fun experience for anyone. It Well, to be fair, it is. Don't get me wrong, we're all playing medics and we're having a great time, but when there's bots in the team, it kind of just... It demoralises you, and seeing a kick vote happen 
and then seeing it not go through when it's 11 to 2 or something like that you just think what the hell is going on you know not enough people voted yes but over half the team has voted yes so it should have gone through but no it didn't for some reason it's just it it's absolutely mind boggling to me I had to in fact bind F3 because my F1 wasn't working for a little while when I first joined for some reason don't know why my F1's decided to give up but it has so I've had to assign F1 to F3 so works for me I guess um, so yeah that's my 10 cents on the matter I'll be doing some TF2 streams over on my Twitch channel so go check that out and uh, yeah I'm going to be returning back to TF2 properly and uh, giving it loads of time hopefully uh, we won't be synchronizing our death watches just yet though expiration date will be pushed back even further boys let's keep the ball rolling shall we anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one bye I should have I should have taunt killed him there.